Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In today's video, I am going to show you a detailed guide on how to add a boot option to your BIOS. Whether you are looking to install a new operating system or troubleshoot boot related issues, understanding how to manage your boot option is crucial. So let's get started. The first step is to access your computer's BIOS or UEFI settings. Restart your computer and pay attention to initial screen that appears. Usually you need to press a specific key like delete F2, F10 or escape to enter the PC's BIOS. The correct key is often indicated on the screen during bootup. Once you are in the BIOS setup, use your keyboard's arrow keys to navigate. Different BIOS interfaces may vary, but the general approach is similar. Look for a section related to boot, boot options, security, advanced or boot sequence. In the boot section, you will see a list of boot device or boot order. Look at an option that says add boot option or select an UEFI file as trusted for executing or something similar. This might be under a sub menu like UEFI boot option or secure boot mode. When prompted, you will need to give the new boot option a name. This can be anything you like, but it's a good idea to make it descriptive so you know what it referred to. For example, you could name it UEFI Windows Installation or Windows Boot Option. Next, you will need to choose the actual boot device. This is where you will specify the UEFI file path. Look for an option called Browse or File Explorer to navigate through your system storage. You are essentially looking for the UEFI file for the operating system you want to add. The UEFI bootloader file usually ending in .efi such as boot mcfw.efi file for windows or cmx64.efi file for ubuntu ok once you are in the system storage select efi next select microsoft now select boot after that select boot mgfw.efi once you have selected the appropriate UEFI bootloader file, confirm your choice. The BIOS might ask you to verify the boot entry before saving it. After adding the UEFI boot option, you need to adjust the boot order. This determines the sequence in which the system checks the devices for bootable files. Ensure that the UEFI boot option you just added is set to a preferred position in the boot order. Finally save your changes and exit the BIOS setup. Your computer will reboot and if everything is set up correctly, you should see a new UEFI boot option during startup or your system should boot up from new created boot option. Ok as you can see the boot was successful from the new created boot option. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.